Hi everyone, welcome to the Lindell Speaks podcast, Empowering Students Voice. We are your school captains of 2022. I'm Priyanka. I'm with Sam. I'm Janet. And I'm Brenda. So welcome back everyone. It's quite a well-needed break with COVID and everything. <laughs> yeah. How was everyone's holidays? Oh, uh, it was pretty cruisy, I mean, the first couple of weeks getting homework, homework done and then I celebrated my birthday in Happy January. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> um, you know, went out to eat, done bowling, which was really, really fun. So, yeah. What about you, Brenda? Um, I just worked a lot. <laughs> <laughs> How many jobs did you work, Brenda? <laughs> <laughs> so, I actually quit Glow Um, Yeah, that was – I worked there for two years and then I just went back to Macca's. And then, yeah, been working, doing homework, obviously – and yeah, what about you, Sam? <laughs> um, I was pretty much the same. I was working a lot and I caught up with a few friends as well, but definitely did all my homework. <laughs> a lot of homework. Yeah. A yeah. lot. Yeah. Considering that we are in year 12 now. Yes. yes. A lot of homework. <laughs> <laughs> so looking back to your year seven selves, what would you tell them? Like, oh, do this differently. Or what would you say? I'm so glad you did that. I feel like maybe creating a balance between school life and home life I guess in year seven it's still important but it's less strict I think you need to give yourself a break a little bit um dial down on like the harshness and the doubt um also creating like good study habits because when you get into year 12 everything just happens so quickly so creating that in year seven you kind of have a foundation that you can build upon and realize like what you do best and what you don't yeah, and I think just have fun, to be honest. Like, I think I was, in year seven, I was really harsh on myself. Mm-hmm. Like, I was making all these expectations. I was like, oh, I have to get A plus, A plus on everything. And then when I didn't exceed it, I was really harsh on myself. And that um, that did something to my mental health. Like, I was really down for a bit and I lost my motivation. And I was just just not having fun at school, but... Yeah, I think just having fun and finding the balance between um, le- like having fun and school. Yeah. yeah, And definitely don't be so harsh on yourself. Like if you make a mistake, it's not the end of the world. Like yeah. it's, it's a learning experience and you should look at it in that way because it's just an opportunity for you to improve yourself instead of being like, oh, it's the end of the world, I've made a mistake. Like, like we used to get sacks back and I wouldn't get an A, I'd get a B. And I'm like, how am I going to go home and tell my mum? Yeah. 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 Like, I'm so scared. <laughs> <laughs> and another really important thing is, is make good friendships. Yeah. Like ones 100%. that you know are going to last. Yeah. 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 Because all these toxic friendships and be yourself. That's how you make good friendships. Yeah. yeah. And like know who you are before you present who you are to other people. Yeah, yeah exactly. And let that's people accept you for who you are, yeah. not who you're trying to be. Don't be fake. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I think we all did a pretty good job of that. We all have pretty solid friendships in year 12 yes. that have lasted all throughout. Yeah. And they yeah. all kind of like intertwine with yeah. each other as well, which we is all really have nice. Friendship yeah. groups that make one whole big friendship. And I think that's <laughs> yeah. cute. Yeah. It's wholesome. And that's yeah. what's important. Yeah. And so. I just want to touch on like what Brenda was saying about mental health. I think it's like pretty mm-hmm. serious. Especially like as you go up in year levels, you know, the homework loads, the yeah, friendships the that you create, the stress mm-hmm. becomes a lot. Um, so yeah, I wonder what you guys like how you've dealt with like mental health. Mm, my mental health is, you know, it's on and off, <laughs> but we're in year 12. Like, it's really hard to maintain oh, a fully positive outcome all the time. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. as I want to have that outlook, but it's really unrealistic. Yeah. Especially at our stage, because we're in VC. Like, you are going to have setbacks that yeah. you just need to overcome. Like, you can't yeah. do anything about it. Like, once it's happened, there's no point looking back at the past being like, oh, I wish I got a better study score last year yeah. because yeah. it's already done. Like yeah. all you can do is improve for the future. I That's think my mindset with mental health right now. Yeah, I think it's ab- about, sorry. No, it's, right. yeah. <laughs> it's about like having resilience. Like yeah. it's so important to have resilience because if you don't have that, then you're going to dwell on the past. You could keep dwelling on the past mm-hmm. and you're not going to move forward. So having resilience and having a good friendship group as well like support protective factors everybody yeah (laughs) (laughs) yeah like so you can talk about it um seek help like if you if you feel like you're falling behind ask the teachers like find ways to improve yourselves yeah Yeah. Yeah. and i think something that helped me be resilient or two things were that for one thing i'd say like one mark is always better than no mark yeah yeah yeah. so when i when i wasn't happy with a mark i'd say that and i'd also say 
I might not be happy with my mark, but the mark that I have right now is a dream for someone else. Like if someone else had yeah. gotten my mark right now, they would be like over the moon. And yeah. it, it just it helps you be like, be a bit more grateful for what you've got and then just move on and yeah, be resilient. Yeah, Along with peer connections, it's also important to maintain yes. teacher connections, yeah. Yeah. which I feel like we all have a, re- like yeah. a yeah. connection with a teacher who we feel yeah. like we can go to when we need to. And it's, yeah. I think it's really good yeah. to maintain that. Yeah. So, what else? What are we looking forward to this year? Swimming carnival. Formal. Yes. Formal. Formal. Yes. Yes. Formal. Yes. Be exciting. Yep. Formal yeah. planning. I'm more excited for the planning than the actual thing. Oh my god, me yeah. too. Yeah. I'm excited for the photos. So it's like formal is going to bring everyone closer together. Yeah, I feel yeah. like our wait, like our year was a bit separated just yeah. because of COVID. COVID yeah. especially, and we didn't yeah. have yep. um, classes together. Like it, everything was just on the screen. Like, yeah. you know, yeah. no interactions. And it's, like, the year that we went into lockdown is the year that all our classes like, intertwined. Like, yeah. like yeah. we met people from other classes. Yeah. And, it yeah, I feel like we really missed out on that. Yeah. And we can, like, finally, like, as year sevens, we look at the year twelves and be like, oh, it's oh so great. God, you get to go to yeah. formal, like, you go in the living rooms <laughs> or whatever it is. And, and now we get to do that. Like, it's so yeah. crazy that, like, time went, s- yeah. Yeah. time yeah. flies so, so fast. fast. Yeah. Just flied. It feels like yesterday was our first day here. Yeah, and I was like right. looking at everyone being like, oh, who am I going to be oh friends with? What's I don't know anyone here. Like? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when I saw the year service, I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, that used to be that. us. Yeah. 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 And I was shaking. I was like, oh, my gosh. My mom. I was like, I want my mom. <laughs> but, yeah, it's so weird to think that we were in year seven like yeah. five years ago or so. Yeah. Yeah. We used to do a subject called science. Yeah. Instead of like biology or yep. chemistry, yeah, like specific like yeah. humanity, humanities. It was oh my integrated God. studies, yeah. like yeah, yeah. that's, that's crazy. So weird. <laughs> and like, and everyone, like your subjects were chosen for you then, and now you're like you've got the you freedom choose of choosing want. what you want to study in year eleven, year yeah. twelve, even year ten. Like, yeah, you just it's great, but it's nice to reminisce as well. Ah, okay, and now let's hear from our college community about how they feel about being back at school, being this is our second week, of course. Welcome back, students and staff. It's really exciting that we're we're back on site and ready to learn. It's a real buzz at the school, um, seeing everyone going through the cycle of getting to know each other again and really feeling connected with our entire learning community Our students have started the year off with a massive bang. They are coming smartly dressed in their uniform and as I walk around the school I see so many students engaging and excited in the classroom which is amazing to see. I'm actually really keen to see this continue so I thank all the parents, staff and students for supporting each other to ensure that we are able to get back into school and do what we do best and that is to be learning and looking after each other. So being back in school, um, I'm really um, happy that we're back as I know that online learning affected a lot of our mental health um, and so being back um, like brought us together and um, brought like our relationships closer. Um, I'm excited to be back at school because it's our last year and I'm excited to make memories with my friends. Yeah, it's good. Um, I get to be back with my friends and learn new things and yeah, hopefully we have a good new year. It feels amazing to be honest. To get back with friends and stuff. Yeah, it's just good. Yeah. It's an incredible feeling. Although the holidays were fun, we uh, visited uh, relatives. But being back to school and sitting together with friends talking and connecting with the teachers, it's uh, an incredible feeling by itself. So fantastic that we're allowed to now have our school carnivals back. We get to have all our students come together at our Swimming Athletics Cross Country Carnival. What a great atmosphere and culture we're going to build. It's great to see that we can have our inter-school sports programs happening again. Our Year 7 and 8 students haven't had inter-school sports for two years. Can't wait to see what talent we've got at Lindale. I'm excited to come to high school because after all these years, I'm finally in high school. Um, I'm excited to... Um, do lots of sporting events and participate. This year I'm excited for all the upcoming events we have such as the formal and just being able to make memories with my friends. I think that'll be my favourite thing this year. It's very nice. The studies are not as much as hard. Um, like if you are stuck with something you can go out to coordinate with other teachers and like the teachers are very nice so it's very easy to ask questions and you won't be shy. Uh, the high school is very, the classes are very big in the school 
and uh, it's very new because I'm only seven and I'm looking forward to a lot. Um, it's great to be back at school and see all the students and teachers face to face rather than you know having to speak online on Teams and uh, this year I'm really looking forward to supporting all the students with their well-being needs. Oh, you know, it's good. Yeah, you know, I get to see my friends again, you know. Yeah, so it feels amazing to be back and uh, as it is our final year, final year looking uh, forward to my working hard and getting a good score obviously and uh, yeah just working hard and in the meantime enjoying with friends. So what it's like being at school I guess it's really fun really fast paced I love the social interactions that you get at school too both staff and students um, and just yeah the enjoyment that you get out of your day. I guess what I'm looking forward to this year is seeing all of my students achieve great things and what they do with their lives when they move on from school, especially my year 12s, and also just fun, all the fun activities that will come by this year. Um, so I like high school so far and I'm excited for the swimming carnival. Yeah. I felt quite nervous at the start, but then I got into high school a bit, so I'm quite happy right now. Um, do you see my friends? And I'm going to class, ready to learn. It's wonderful. Um, we can see so many students back and they are all having face-to-face -face learning as opposed to um, online, online study last year. So um, wonderful place. We can see everyone resumes work and study. So I'm very, I'm more than happy to, to help them with whatever uh, needs they have. I've gotten used to high school, so, and I'm also waiting, um, excited for the swimming kind of I love being asked these questions where you have to think big picture because we get really stuck on the small details on the day to day. So I'm thinking big picture about the year, and I think what I've realized is that I know so many students um, now who um, started Lindell a while ago, and it struck me as I walked around the school the, the last week that I've seen a lot of developments. So I think what I'm looking forward to is seeing with my students in my particular classes um, how they've changed. I've known them since they were in year seven. I've got some of them now in year 12. Um, and um, how, we, um, how we've made such improvements in the way we tackle our learning, particularly with regard to reading and literacy. So that's my thing is to look out for um, how strong we are now as readers and learners in our literacy. It's terrific! All the students here are very great and encouraging. So it's good to be back in the thick of it, um, seeing everybody sort of get uh, get used to their new year level, their new lockers, their new classrooms and everything like that. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing kids work collaboratively in person um, and really developing an understanding of the new subjects. That feels good because my mates are here Loved it. and we have like really nice teachers. We learn new things. Being back to school, I was pretty awesome, I guess. Swimming carnivals next week. Yeah. Good, good um, sport events coming up. Yeah, it's decent, I guess. Well, it's like being back at school. It's really nice. I'm glad to be back to see all my friends again. Um, we're not remote learning, so that's really good. And yeah, and you know, I've made new friends with the new year seven team. They seem really nice. And, yeah, I can't wait to. I'd learn more, learn new things and meet more new people. I am so happy to be back at school with all of the students. Being able to see students face to face and talk to them and engage with them and learn about you all as people and not just as blank computer screens has been really, really exciting for me this year. And I'm looking forward to having lots of opportunities to get to know as many of you as possible and yeah, to have fun this year while we're learning. Uh, I have the class back. It's good. It's really good. It's really good because I get to see my friends. I've been seeing it for a long time. I like playing soccer and lunchtime and snack time. Yeah, that's all, yes. Welcome back to Lindale. All of my Lindale students, we missed you all. Um, it's so good to be back and see your faces and be teaching you in the class again. And fingers crossed we're going to have a fantastic 2022. All the best for the year. Good luck, everyone. Take care. Well, it's so great to hear from you guys. Um, now we'll move on to events that we'll be looking forward to for the year. Swimming Carnival, of Swimming course. Swimming Carnival. Yeah. This What's Monday. Dressing up as? 
Me and my friend are going as police officers. Cute. Oh. We were going to go as Mario and Luigi, but it was really hard to find a costume without buying the actual whole set. Oh, yeah. And they're, like, kind of expensive. So, you know what? We're going as police officers. So, yeah. That's still cool. Yeah. Um, Still, still questioning that for me though. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't made up my mind yet. Ours is a secret, isn't it, Brenda? Yeah. Oh yes, I heard. <laughs> it's, a secret. Right. it's not that impressive, but you know, it's just fun to like keep it a secret. Yeah, surprise the anticipation. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, anticipation. Anticipation is what makes it better. Yeah. Athletics, yeah. cross Definitely country. Oh my gosh! Yes. I'm so. I excited. want to dress up for all of them, low key. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. now we can live out those little year seven fantasies. Yeah. Of dressing up for all the events. <laughs> Uh, and definitely camps as well, like for the year sevens, eights, yeah. nines, and tens. So like, exciting yeah. and nerve wracking at the same time. Yeah, like, absolutely. I remember I was never allowed. Sorry for cutting you no, off. That's all right. I, was, I remember my mum would never let me go to camps. And then the first time I went to camp was in year nine, and the weather was horrible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so cold. <laughs> cold. The first time I got to go, like, with friends outside, you know, like, of school. And it was, it was really fun, but really, really cold. cold. And, like, I had checked the weather and I was like, okay, it's going to be, like, really cold. Let me just bring, you know, like, shorts and a T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Got there and I was freezing. Yeah, I think all of us, like, stayed in the same clothes because that was the only pair that we bought, like, exactly. warm clothes. Yeah. And definitely valedictory as well. For oh, us my at gosh. The end of the year yeah. year 11s exciting. have formal this year as well, I heard. Oh, oh yeah. 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 They d- but is it combined with ours? Nope. Separate. Separate. Yeah. yeah. The, I think theirs is at the end of the year. Yeah. I think Val's going to be so sad. It's going to be yeah. It's going to be, yeah, it's going to probably all sweet. hit us. Yeah, yeah it's like time. it's like the final moment that, like, yeah. I've seen you guys every day of my life for the past five or six years, and now we're all going oh. our own ways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But then that's all right, because then we'll still be able to make, keep we'll contact keep with each other. Yeah, yeah like, yeah. we live in the 21st century. There's social media and phones and everything yeah. else. Yeah. yeah. I just want to touch on Athletics Carnival and how with Sam suggested we all go as Teletubbies so we wouldn't yeah. actually have to run. Yeah, if you guys need to find school captains, we'll be in Teletubbies. <laughs> yeah, and everyone dress up, to be honest. Like, yeah. even if you're... That's the fun of it, yeah. 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 And it's so fun because I feel like you make friends by dressing up for yeah. some reason. Like, yeah. oh, hey, I like your costume. I like yours too. Yeah. Let's be friends type of thing. Yeah. I don't know, but it's so random. Even if you don't do costumes, like, go in house colours. Support your house. Literally. Yeah, yeah exactly. And cheer on for others. Stay of not wearing school uniform. Like, yeah. come on. Yeah, and I mean, it's better than sitting in class for the whole day. So yeah. why not go, guys? Why not go, yeah. yeah. Once again, this is Lindell Speaks, empowering student voice. And thank you very much for tuning in. See you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>